Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have actually a Whole Foods haul for you guys. And what I'm gonna do, I think, because my husband and I were both in there and we were filming in there, is I'm gonna show you what we got first. And then at the end of this haul, I'll like also include a lot of footage of us shopping because I kind of showed like a lot of other options you can get there. Just in case you're interested, a lot of like vegan options that they do carry. I feel like we got a decent amount of stuff and we got a lot more stuff that we haven't really been buying recently, like um, kind of the fake meats and stuff. I've been kind of staying away from them, but I feel like it'd be nice to like kind of put onto some salads and stuff just to make meals maybe a little bit more filling. So I got a few of those kinds of items this time. So I thought I'd show you those. And real quick, guys, I just want to give a big, big thank you, especially for those that just watch only my hauls. Um, I did just launch last week a website, and I am selling some necklaces on there. This one is my vegan one, and I have a love one as well, and I'll be getting new inventory too very soon. But I just want to give a big thank you, and in case you missed that, go check it out. It'll be linked below. Kind of cool, pretty exciting. But let's get into this haul. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up up and of course please subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you guys very very soon I hope you guys enjoy this video so per usual too I will put the price with everything for you guys um, but to start I did go ahead and get this big bag of spinach this is a little bit more than a pound and it's kind of cool they had it where you can literally like scoop it yourself i you know plastic and stuff we try really hard not to use too many plastic bags if not necessary but obviously in this case we needed to use something but i've been thinking about that actually of like i know i think on amazon even they sell like produce bags and stuff that you can buy like reusable ones i might like get some of those anyway so i've got a big big bag of spinach we can use this for salads and smoothies as well we really like making like green smoothie drinks really really yummy so that'll last us lo a long time and by the way everything i got is organic as well and then i did pick up these two big heads of uh butter leaf lettuce which i just love my husband loves it too butter leaf lettuce is delicious so picked up two heads of this this can be kind of hard to find sometimes especially organic but they did have that I did get two things of strawberries. Strawberries are in season right now for us in California. Delicious. So, so good. These look great too. Don't those look good? And then picked up zucchini for sure. Love our zucchini. Gotta have it. And then got three Granny Smith apples. Guys, if you've been following my hauls, you know that I've been looking again for the Honeycrisp apples in organic, and it's like virtually impossible. And so even Whole Foods, they had them, but not organic. So I think I just have to wait for those to like come back to be in season <laughs> anyway. But I did go ahead and get some of the uh, organic Granny Smith ones and picked up some carrots. I'm going to chop those up and stuff, have it ready for some hummus. We still have some hummus from last week, so we're good there. Got some bananas, got two big bunches of bananas. Just one thing of green onions. You guys know I love my green onions and two avocados. I have a few left in the fridge right now too. I think we need to get through them pretty quick, but these aren't quite ripe yet. So that'll give them a little bit more time and we can eat the other ones still. And then onto some frozen items too. I actually got some of these wild blueberries and I've been loving blueberries and so many things. We like to put them in our green smoothies as well as I like to put it into oatmeal. And I also picked up these maple cinnamon, which actually I don't think I've tried this flavor before. I've done like the mixed berry ones in the past, um, but these are really good. They're a little bit on the drier side, um, these like waffles but I love to put mine with like a little bit of almond butter on top and I love it that way. It's so good. So try that out if you never have, but these are vegan. Most things, it says they're on the side. Most things by nature's path, I feel like are. Sometimes you have to watch for honey that can sneak into certain things, but a lot of the granola and stuff too, it's all vegan as well. So got some of those just for quick breakfasts. I, I'm pretty much the one that eats these. I've never had this before. It's the Amy's Pad Thai, and it is vegan. It says that in the corner there. It's dairy-free, gluten-free as well. Never have tried it. I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> but this is like rice noodles, vegetables, and tofu. And I just, I love Pad Thai. 
but you know it can be kind of hard to find for the you know vegan kind but amy's brand always coming through we love that brand now not all of her stuff is vegan but a lot of it is so saw that and i was like yeah i'm gonna give it a shot stocked up on some dressings personally guys not that this is the best thing for you but this is definitely definitely one of the best out there i think the just brand for ranch dressing is amazing and also the follow your heart brand of ranch dressing is really really good too so i picked some of this up just to have some more we're almost out of it and then i got some of these newer ones that i've never seen before it's a carrot and ginger dressing with no oil and i thought that would be great especially for us and again if you're newer we try really hard to limit our oil intake our salt intake Sorry, that was a cat. <laughs> and our sugar intake. So I thought this would be great. And for two tablespoons, it's 40 calories and all very, you know, natural ingredients. So I thought I'd give this a shot. It looks pretty good. I mean, you can see like the chunks of carrots in it and sesame seeds, but I've never tried this before. So that's a new one. And then I actually got this avocado vinaigrette dressing. This looks so good to me. And again, no oil added, low sodium going to give this a shot. I will say Whole Foods is one that we don't go to often, but I do love that they have definitely more variety for dressings and that kind of thing. So picked up those to try and stock up on. This is not necessarily the best one out there. And I love the Trader Joe's almond butter, but since we weren't there, we needed some. And Nate really does like this one a lot. And I have to admit it is very good. It really is. But it does have uh, some added sugar and palm oil to it, where a lot of these can come with just almonds. So I'm just saying this isn't necessarily your best option, but it is good. And okay, so here's some of the mock meats that I picked up, and we got these breaded chickenless nuggets. Now this is the 365 brand, which is like the Whole Foods brand, and I've never tried these before, so and they are vegan, and I'm hoping that my kiddo will really like them. We do like the Boca brand ones, but again, just never tried these, so thought I'd give them a shot for you guys so I can review them for you too. We've had this Gardein Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken before, and of course it's, you know, Gardein brand is the, you know, meatless alternatives, and we've had this before, but it's been a long, long time, like long time, like six months minimum. <laughs> and I remember it wasn't bad. So we just thought this would be good for one night, like with, um, you know, for some rice, be yummy. So got some of that. And then this is a funny one, guys. Made Up Mama here on YouTube, who's also my very, very good friend, Patrice, check her out. She uh, just did an empties video of like reviewing vegan friendly foods and she included these now she loves them hands down loves these they're like the crispy tenders i've had these before but again a long time ago and i remember being like disappointed or not loving them or feeling like they were very very dry but she raved about it she loved them so i'm trying them again girl just because of you <laughs> so i i don't remember them being terrible they just weren't like my favorite then nate picked up this beyond meat these are just like chicken strips I think we've had these before too i'm not 100 percent sure but again these are the types of items though that like we have not bought like this year at all but i just wanted to have just in the freezer as options um just for those nights especially where like a salad by itself just isn't hitting the spot you can kind of like zhuzh it up right right <laughs> then i also picked up these gluten-free quick cooking oats and then this gluten-free all ba purpose baking powder or baking powder baking flour and i we don't eat gluten-free here specifically and we don't need to but i want to start doing more and more gluten-free recipes for you guys because i know a lot of you do eat gluten-free and so i want to start playing with that a little bit more so pick these items up too we love the silver hills bread we can find this at sprouts um so that's kind of nice we have another option the squirrely bread is my favorite it's a sprouted bread kind of like ezekiel bread but it is a little bit cheaper and i love it i think it's delicious um and it's in their frozen section you know this max flax i've never tried this one and full of flax seeds which is great for you so i'm gonna have to give this one a shot let me know if you have but if you've never tried the silver hills brand 
I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. And they have these on a uh, sample and Nate tried them out and they are vegan. Um, these corn chips, they are very good. Very good. I think these are at Sprouts too. Um, cause I, I feel like I've seen them or even bought them before. I'm not a hundred percent sure though, but picked up two bags of those. They were on like display and sale. And then we picked up some of this lavash bread um, and or the wraps and Nate picked up two of them just like their original traditional one and they are vegan as well. These are great just to make like little pinwheel type sandwiches, wraps, whatever, kind of like pictured here. And then he got the spinach one. We've never tried that before. So kind of a good way to change it up from when you don't want just bread different way to have it so got those two and then Nate's kind of back on a cereal kick and we don't really have any right now at all so he wanted to do these peanut butter and cocoa balls these are vegan and I've had these before I think they're very good <laughs> so I feel like for the most part you know we got a lot of healthy options but we also did kind of veer off and get maybe a little bit more like vegan junk than we normally would but you know, I think it's still good to have on hand and also still trying to incorporate more of these types of foods into our son's diet as he does not eat fully vegan with us. So again, it's kind of all just the process, right? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will put the total here for you. And then I will also right now include more footage of us shopping around. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very, very soon. Hey, has she stopped me just a second, just a second away from all the pain? You told me if I leave, then no one gains, and it feels like you smashed me with a hammer. I'm ready to see we fell apart. I'm ready to believe you have a heart. And then you said, hey, we can build it all up again. We can leave with more than train. I could try to get over you. But I will never love again Hey, we can build it all up again We can dance in the summer rain I know we can find it and keep it We'll get back home again I said, hey, you found me like in fiction But I'm ready to see we're both a part of it Could be the start of it Cause I know you're the missing piece of puzzle
Pull away 